to the salt of the streets Coming at you every week with this food for thought Hope you ready to eat with everything going on in this nation We need some information and that's why salt need to be stationed in your rotation With real talk and real topics, real people, real problems Think we need some help to solve them and leave it up to Colin and the Donovan right, Cause that's the, the what, what's that? Up, oh, let's get ready for 20 minutes thank you for joining us this is episode 45 of salt of the streets podcast i am donovan i'm calling we're fucking happy to have you here it has been a couple of weeks since we've been here uh doing a regular show because the last two shows we talked about we did at my house yeah um and they were just kind of weird shows we're doing kind of whatever um so thank you thank you for joining us facebook obviously live right now this beautiful camera is going to go on to our YouTube. Um, we have Facebook at Salt of the Streets. Obviously, our YouTube, you can look at us at Salt of the Streets. Everything is at saltofthestreets.com. And then we have our own personal social medias. I am alpaca underscore Donovan on Instagram and Salt of the Street on Twitter. He is Big Bird Offie on both of those things. Mm. It's beautiful. Pretty sure that's everything. It's going to be sweet. So, man. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. It's been a while, and it's been a big couple of weeks. So, yeah, what we're going to do this week, half traditional, half not, right? Feel me out. Follow me here, okay? So, what we're going to do is we are going to talk about some serious political shit, but instead of having two main segments in a grab bag, we're going to do pretty much a whole grab bag type show. We are going to just try and talk about everything that we kind of can think about that happened in the last two weeks since we did our other stuff. Um, because yeah, it's, it's been eventful. Yes. It's definitely yeah. a bit eventful. <clears throat> I have four big things here and then some other stuff in my grab bag that I wrote down. Um, because the first week, there goes the cherry to the joint. Got it. I'm professional. I got this. Um, <laughs> That's my getting, inferior packing um, skills. Nah, you're good. Can't even so, pack cones correctly. Do you have a lighter over there? Shriek. Oh, there it is. So the first week that we took off was because I wanted a break. Um, for me and my wife. For future daddy time. Yeah, yeah. We took a break. And what did we do? You're working on the... Yeah, we worked on the room. Um, We worked on, excuse me, the nursery. Because we had to convert our storage slash laundry room into the nursery. So we did most of the framing for that. And then we found out that the baby's probably going to be here a little bit sooner than we thought. Um, And so the following week was Christmas. So we took a break off for that. It was last weekend. Uh, So me and Trent... Built the co-sleeper and got all that squared away. Did all the Christmas nonsense and um, got most of the stuff ready. So today when I'm done here, mm. um, I am going to go grocery shopping probably. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to sand down the co-sleeper. And then I'm going to stain it. Mm. And then it's going to go inside the house. Very nice. Um, <laughs> going to varnish that baby? Yep. Get her yep. all shiny? Yep. It's going to be like beautiful. It. Because it was, it, it's quality, it's a quality fucking piece of carpentry, what I constructed two weeks ago. Absolutely. And it's going to be around for a while. Like, if Aaron and Michael have their baby here, they'll probably use that, like their next baby. Mm-hmm. They'll probably use that for their next baby. So, so. the co-sleeper just nudges up against your bed, essentially. The co-sleeper, a while. yeah, is like a crib that will go next to Jordan because she's going to be breastfeeding, you know. So, mm-hmm. it's easier instead of having the baby in a whole other room. And it's dangerous can be dangerous to sleep with the baby in your bed you know yeah i've heard that so just put the baby in a little co-sleeper right there and when he wakes up you fucking pop it out flop a hogan and everything (laughs) will be good um who's flopping hogan (laughs) and everything's good to go so we did that yeah like i said that's what i'm going to do today and then after that i will finish doing the the nursery because i wanted to get this done because he's going to be in the co-sleeper for a couple months before he is uh before he goes into the into the nursery, so yeah, was that just a few months? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, as long as she's <laughs> breastfeeding, you know, and then when he's doing other shit, then as babies do, I guess. As babies do, <laughs> yeah. when he starts to eat like regular food and stuff, and and well, all there was numbers. just to interrupt you for a minute. There do was it. around this time, yeah, you had a very important, at least in my life, it was a very important thing happened to you via Twitter. With a man named Dave Rubin. 
I guess he kind of started this thing. I don't know when he started it. I have no idea. He started asking people like how their weekends were mm-hmm. on Monday morning. And he asked to send pictures and stuff. And so our boy Donovan here sends him the picture of the co-sleeper and tells him what he did over the weekend building it. And the fact that it was his birthday. It uh, was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. was Monday was, was my was birthday. Monday, yeah. My golden birthday at that. 24 on the 24th. Oh. So. Man, I didn't know you could do that. Yep. I screwed that over a yeah. long time ago. Golden birthday. <laughs> Golden birthday. So. Man. <clears throat> I blew my chance at that over 10 years ago. I never heard of that, that until like maybe two years ago. Interesting. Someone's like, yeah, my golden birthday. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, oh, I'm going to be 21 on the 21st. Woohoo! Like, sweet. Sweet, you know, bro. Yeah. That's, I love insignificant things. It's just that, a coincidence that you're yeah. turning that age on this day this year, you know? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah, Dave Rubin <laughs> did hit you back, which was kind of cool. He said I something said, oh, like, oh, shit. Awesome. Happy birthday. <laughs> you know, it, like, yeah. Word, it man. That's cool. The, it was probably hit. Well, I don't know. He's no, I think he runs his own Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. yeah, I think that he just also is replying to probably a 100, people. 150 people at yeah. that particular moment, you know? So if he spends too much time on there, like... Like, hey, man, that's really cool that you're having your first kid. Make sure you do this and this and this and stand up to these people. And, like, he can't – he doesn't have the time to sit there and rattle off, like, six tweets in a row, yeah. you know? Much less so, the headspace. Which I don't expect. I certainly don't expect us – I don't – he it's, he doesn't need to take the time out of his day to even say anything at all. Yeah, know? right. So, <laughs> so I certainly don't expect, like, an extravagant <laughs> response to it. So oh. it was cool. I was happy with it. I've that had a couple of interactions cool. with famous people on social media, you know, yeah. and it's not something I get super jazzed, except for Kevin Smith. Anytime that Kevin Smith likes something that I've said, I'm like, God, that's so rad. Like, that's yeah. so fucking cool. I put but that out there and he clicked the button. That's just because I love Kevin Smith. So, well, I mean, you know, reasons. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Him and Bry Johnson. lived like a couple of the things that I don't know I've said to them or, or just whatever you know yeah then i'm like like, that means that that they probably saw that and they laughed and that's dope like (laughs) (laughs) like i just made like one of the funniest people i've ever heard speak laugh and that Mm -hmm. makes me feel good you know (laughs) like i hope that they made them laugh that's dope that's that's (coughs) we went out and we saw vice yesterday that new uh dick cheney movie yeah god that was so good so this is well, we'll probably do an official spoiler alert because it's just came out. Mm. I feel like that is warranted, at least in my, uh, you know, I give them about a week or two and then I don't care about spoilers. Yeah. But we might talk about that a little bit during the show. It came out on Christmas. It was so good. It is uh, probably one of my favorites. Like, it was really, really good. That's kind of, it's on my list, yeah. you know, of maybe like 10 or something like that. Top yeah. 10? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. It was really good. It was so. Let me watch it two more times, mm-hmm. and then I'll know for sure. Dude, we should do that one time. We should sit down like the night before we do the cast, and just whatever our top ten movies are that we can think of at that time. Wow, list them out, and then we have to sit here and fight over just them back and forth. Them, yeah. Um, that's good. Trying. I wonder how many of your movies them. I may not have even seen. Yeah. And vice versa. I've seen some pretty obscure movies. Yeah. We watched a movie. God damn, we just <laughs> talked about it, too. I cannot fucking remember what it is called. Uh, but it had uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager. Do you know that show? What about nope. Divergent? Do you know this movie? The movie Divergent. Yeah. There's the girl. Yes. Who, yes. So Kinda, that, yeah. that girl is in it. And then the movie Whiplash. The kid is a drummer, and fucking J.K. Simmons is in it. J.K. Simmons is his teacher, and he's screaming at him and beats his ass and stuff. No. And uh, anyway, think. these two people, and they're... Fuck. I did see Drumline with the cannon fuck. a lot. What is it called? This movie. I'm going to remember halfway through the cast, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we watched this movie, and it was not anything like what I thought it was going to be. Um, like, it talked about these two kids falling in love and stuff, and then... Oh, wow. Spoiler alert, it's like, bitch gets hit by a car. Whoa. And, Kid's an alcoholic through the entire movie, but he's in high school. Like he's 18 and he's like carry around a fucking flask and like gets offered like a job at his job. But the guy's like, but you can't ever come here drunk again because I know you come <laughs> in here drunk all the time. He's like, we never talked about it, but I know you're fucking wasted. It was crazy. It was crazy. That movie was fucked up. That sounds good though. 
Spoiler alert. I like, alerts. I like I movies with, with, you know, what? deep plot lines like that. I think I'm good. It was fucked. Oh. Yeah. So what else did you do? Anything of note over your, your Christmas break? Did you get anything super rad besides your enormous fucking mugs with different wilderness animals on them? Yeah, totally. That one has. I got a million things rad. Aviary creatures on it. Aviary, aviary creatures and, and, uh, uh, ungulates, yes, if you will. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Man, I got a bunch of stuff, man. It was nice. I got that spike ball game, which was really cool. We did that, um, at my family's white elephant exchange that we did. Um, you know, Carolina got me a PS4, a new, the Spider-Man edition one. Yes. And, uh, she got me that a couple weeks before Christmas, but that was my, my major Christmas gift. And, you know, she just got me a ton of other stuff too, which I don't want to talk about, but because <laughs> they're, I mean, you know, they're just things that are like important to me and stuff that I don't, I tend not to want a lot of things, I feel. Um, cause I don't know, maybe it's a bad thing. Every time I want something, if I really convince myself I want it, I just go out and get it. And then otherwise, I just convinced myself, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Well, and I do that most of the year, but as it gets closer to Christmas, I start to spoil myself. No, Jordan says, like, don't buy yourself things so oh, that yeah. to give other people the opportunity to buy you mm-hmm. things. So, like, now is the time that, like, I didn't get, didn't get shoes for Christmas. Really want shoes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to buy myself a couple pairs of shoes because now I need shoes, you know? Yeah. Um, just shit like that. That <clears throat> yeah, wait, I get that. Wait and see what stuff you don't get. And I am weird about buying myself stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, like I don't know. When we first started this, you know, I was really weird about making sure that we spent the same amount of money, you know. And right. that's how I am all the time. Like in most of my life, that I'm like, I want to make sure that the amount of money that's being spent on me and my wife is proportionate. You know, I am so I don't know what it is inside of me that makes me so scared of like. Inequality is not the right way to put it. I was it just going to say, I was going to, I was trying to form yeah, like a, cause that's, that's a not the right way. But, but for somebody to think, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah. I don't know. That's something that I think about consciously all the time, you know, is I don't, I don't want somebody to feel like that's what's going on, you know? Yeah, I get that. But I'm also really weird about money just kind of in general. So I think that's just one of my, it makes one sense. One of my things about that. I think people should be more that way though. Yeah. I don't like people that talk about their money all the time. You know, because then I judge them and I don't want to judge them for the things that they spend their money on or don't spend their money on. Yeah. I don't want to think about that. You do you, man. <clears throat> you Some know. people spend their money on stupid shit. I'm, so I spend my money on stupid shit. I'm sure. I think I we all smoke do. weed all the time. I know. Yeah. To most people, they would be like, that's stupid, you know? Um, I'm, I'm sure it's it is. It's getting more affordable every day, which is scary. All the time. Yeah. And I smoke less and less pot all the time, which is, just don't have time. You know no. No, I like, I pretty much. The only time I ever smoke weed anymore is right before bed. Oh, I definitely you know, smoke for weed the most part. That, but that's just me, though. Yeah, but that's just you know it's nice because I don't spend very much on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, one of us should be here. I'm going to go on Facebook real quick because one of us. Should oh, be yeah, been on that the whole time. See, this is what happens when we get out the game for too long. It's too much. Forget about Let's, all the little things. Let's go here. See, cool. Nobody's commented on yet, so we're safe. Well, um, if my mom is watching, I'd like to point out she made me this a series of bags, um, and this one is my first on-air beer bag uh, that I am. This beer is not quite big enough, but it's resting in here. So next week we're going to get some 32s. 32s! The big boys. We'll get them from a Downpour Brewing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unless, of course, the baby comes because that shit is happening any day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So the you next get a time, phone call right now. yeah, the next time that we're here to do the show, we'll have 32 ounce beers and it'll yeah. be in this bag and it's going to be sick because a couple of weeks ago I was talking about wanting to have one of those 32 ounce beers in a, in a, pla- in a paper bag. Uh, so <laughs> it's going to be sick. It is. <sighs> so, oh, well, yeah, we're, it's going to be a good show, man. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything for today um, as far as the pre-show. So I'm not going to give you any fucking sneak peeks. I'm just kidding. Uh, the things I have written down here, we're going to talk about 
uh, Trump pulling the announcing pulling the troops out of Syria. I have yeah. it here. Uh, Jim Mattis resigning. I have some shit written down about the two children that died in government custody. Uh, okay. The farm bill here. I have so we got some other stuff, and then I have yeah. some, some other grab bag things were done on my phone. So, and of course, uh, did you want to talk about the uh, the government shutdown? Yes. Yes. So I got, yeah, I got lots of good stuff about that too. Even a little firsthand knowledge from the people that are living through it. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Of course, we got to talk about the government shutdown because it's Boom. still happening. So, yeah. But that's yeah, it. it's going to be a good show, man. Yep. So, so thank you we'll again. See you on Monday? Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Episode drops on Monday. <sighs> Ooh, and we got a good old surprise for you in the beginning of the show. Oh, it's yeah. Be sweet. Super so, secret. Yeah. It's gonna Check that out. Mind. Um, but that's it. This is it. Episode 45 pre-show. Thank you. I'm Donovan. I'm Colin. And uh, Facebook, Salt of the Streets. Instagram, Salt of the Streets. Everything, Salt of the Streets.com. Episodes on Monday. Blog posts on Thursday, which also now come out in an audio form. And then we have our personals. I am Alpaca underscore Donovan on Instagram. Salt of the Street on Twitter. He is Big Word Off. on both of them. Thank you. Peace the fuck out. Happy Saturday.